live for today plan for tomorrow you know live your life today because today must be lived but living today by the way doesn't mean be toxic Welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also turn on my post notifications so you know every single time I post so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls at home I hope you guys are doing well today today we're gonna to be talking about some of the struggles you face when you're in your 20s because you know it's hard not live what did I just say sorry guys so this video is going to be a part two of the video that I did talking about some of the struggles we face as people who are in our 20s slash post high school era. So if you haven't checked out part one, go check it out first because otherwise you're going to be confused because this is a continuation, okay? So continuing from last time, we're talking about dating, right? And let's talk about this whole dating thing. First of all, okay, anybody else go through this weird stage or is going through this weird stage where it's like the whole time now especially for girls um but the whole time your family doesn't want you to talk to boys boys don't exist they don't want to hear boys' names like literally boys are gross and you know you can't talk to boys you know that's where you've been the whole time and then next thing all of a sudden when they talk to you it's like when are you getting married where's your husband uh, i want this kind of son-in-law don't come and marry this this and that for real for real though the pressure that uh family starts to put on you family church etc etc of like you know you should be here in your life why are you not married look at your cousin look at this look at that you know and making you feel like something is wrong with you and you are and you are just incomplete or less because you're not married at that stage or also even judging you for your preferences in marriage like for instance like if you decide oh i want to get married at like 35 or 30 you know having people impose their views of marriage onto you saying that no you can't do that you know and just making one basically want to live vicariously through you and wanting you to live the life that they have designed for you which may not be what you want you know and also again with the same idea of imposing marriage views what about the people who don't want to get married this is the reality that we are facing as the this new generation is there are people who literally just don't want to get married and having your family treat you like you're some kind of a disappointment or a failure because you have a different view or what about the people who want to get married but want to be in polyamorous polygamous polygyny open relationship type marriages you know and having people treat you like you're an Cost and you're disgusting because your views of marriage and relationship differs and that's the next thing that I want to get into as well is like developing your own relationship with dating and navigating dating spaces can be so tricky especially in the beginning because you know I've seen that there are literally some people who have never dated in their whole entire lives never spoken to a boy or a girl and now when it's time to navigate dating spaces they're having a really hard time because it's like how do I even talk to people how do I Dude, like literally, how do I do this? How do I stop myself from being selfish? Because I'm so used to being selfish, not in a bad way, but I'm so used to being selfish. My time is mine, everything is mine. Now I have to share, I have to care about someone else, I have to make space for someone else, you know? And there are people who have been dating for the longest time, who have been so damaged by relationships that they don't foresee how they can possibly continue. You know, they don't see a bright, future but what is tricky as a woman in south africa really and really just a woman everywhere is navigating dating spaces in a world that is very dangerous and rapey you know what i'm saying like do you know how hard it is putting yourself out there to date like i don't know if it's just me guys let me know in the comments if i'm crazy but do you guys ever just randomly think when a man is talking to you or when you're getting to know someone and you're like dude like what if we get married and he randomly just gets angry or loses his mind and literally kills me, my kids, and then himself. Like, am I the only one that thinks that? <laughs> am I the only one who considers that? You know, because we see it, you know? But it's really scary navigating dating spaces in a world where rape is so real and you'll go out on a date with someone and you're unsure of whether you'll come home or not. And as women, 
one thing I know for sure, anywhere and everywhere we go, not all women of course, but we tend to give our, the number, the location, the address, the Instagram, all the details to our friends. And we're like, if I don't get home by this time, call this, this and that, do this, this and that, you know? Like just navigating, not being entirely free to date and being kind of held back by fear, you know? The next thing in terms of dating is, you know, coming in terms with your sexual self. This is actually a very tricky one, you know? Especially for people who are Christian and they are these standards that have been set for you. And you know, the, rea the reality is, whether you're Christian or not, hormones are real and you're gonna feel certain things, you're gonna get horny, you're, you're gonna feel all sorts of things that you have to navigate, that you have to uh, form a relationship with in order to understand. When you get older, there's this judgment you get. I always get judged by some people when I'm like, I'm celibate, where people assume that because I'm celibate, I'm just stupid, I'm a dumb virgin, I don't know better, I just need a taste of penis, etc., etc. People try to undermine my beliefs as a person who's celibate. But then there's also judgment for those who have sex then it's like how many bodies do you have you know why have you slept with so many people like it's so difficult navigating a sexual space you know having your sexual revolution if you do have one or you know also the expectation that some people have for you to know more than what you actually do people being unwilling to teach people being forceful you know wanting to have sex with you and assuming that you know things that you don't even know you know, and you know, having to act a certain way to fit in and also having healthy sexual encounters again, hoping that you're not going to get raped, you know, that your first sexual encounter is going to be with your consent. And I know I'm kind of bouncing around between topics, but I know you can follow me. But that's another difficult reality is this is one that's hit me so hard, getting older and seeing my friends be sexually assaulted one by one, having different friends come to me at different times saying I've been raped this happened to me that happened to me that happened to me and it goes from one friend to two to five to ten and now almost your whole squad of friends can name one experience where they've been sexually assaulted as you grow up now someone's been violated and you see who they become after the violation you know and navigating that space how do i be a friend to my friend who's been violated who's no longer the same who doesn't view men the same who doesn't feel the same act the same look the same you know but I just want to say that it is so okay to have your own sexual journey and your own sexual path our paths are not going to be the same but do not let people shame you or judge you for your choices but equally so make choices that you can stand by make choices that you are proud of because guys sexual pain runs deep and can follow you for the rest of your life before you have sex do you understand what sex is do you have intentional sex if you're going to have sex have a good understanding of sex and also if you're having sex be ready to deal with what sex comes with children stds those things are possible anyway so the last point i'm going to talk about in this journey is the conflicting advice that we sometimes get as young people you know sometimes we get the advice of you know enjoy your life you're young have fun your 20s are your best years don't be too serious date around and then the other advice you get is nah bro like you gotta grind right now you know work 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 don't fool around you know because the future is waiting you know it's actually this advice can actually be very conflicting depending on the person and where you are in life but just trying to find who you are and what kind of path you want to follow can be so confusing especially because you can meet friends who lead you in one direction and the other direction and that's why it's important to have a good and solid group of friends who lead you in the path that you want to follow you know the reality of that advice that we get is that it really does depend on you but it is really hard finding that balance of now nah, I just want to enjoy my life and top life and you now want to grind but all I can say is live for today plan for tomorrow you know live your life today because today must be lived but living today by the way doesn't mean be toxic and irresponsible it means whatever it means for you but let us remember that tomorrow does exist and tomorrow is as a result of what we do today so whatever that means for you uh, remember that but that doesn't mean be serious all the time and die and just like ugh. you must find a way to live your life and enjoy your life and also find out how you enjoy life Enjoying life is not always through parties, getting drunk and getting high. For some people it is, but that's not the case for everybody. Don't be forced to conform to a enjoyment lifestyle that doesn't even lead to enjoyment for you. Does that make sense? You know? 
Instagram. But just to close off this video, something that also makes all of these things that I've listed difficult is people choosing to invalidate your feelings. I think that this generation, while like mental health is really taking a knock at a, a good amount of us, and that's also because of the influence of social media, the change in time, you know, and and many, many, many other things. But it's it's so frustrating when you are dealing with depression and the struggles of being young and then having people tell you, oh, you're sad. Wait till you turn 35 and you have two kids. Then life is going to be hard. You have it easy. Your struggles are nothing. Yes, guys, struggle can exist in the 30s and also exist right now. And just because you're young, it doesn't make your problems any less painful. We need to understand that people's problems are relative and suited for where they are at that age kids who are in high school right now they believe that their problems are like oh my gosh the worst thing ever and as older people we're like okay but like it's not but still let them feel what they feel let them navigate their feelings because for them for their level the pain is real equally so for us for our level these struggles are so real you know some people are able to overcome and other people are not and other people are navigating but our feelings are valid and another thing is people want to say oh you're worried about things like navigating dating spaces but there are kids who don't have food and there are kids who don't have a family yes but their struggle and their pain doesn't make my struggles and my pain any less real. That is a real reality. Other kids don't have food and that is a very harsh struggle. And as people, we need to do our best to give to charity and help other people. But that doesn't make your depression any less depressive or any less painful or any less valid. And in a world where people will try to invalidate you and your feelings, you have to validate yourself and your feelings. And you have to break them down. You have to chase after your fears. You have to look deep within you in the things that scare you, the things you don't want to see, because that is where your healing lies. But you have to dig into it. You have to cultivate it. You have to validate those feelings i want to advise you all guys to you know be on this journey and try figure things out for yourself do things that you want to do that you have an understanding of there are some people who need to shed parental trauma and childhood trauma and understand that no one is going to do that for you you have to do that for yourself in this life thing you are responsible for yourself and for your own actions not for anyone else so make sure you're doing the talking the healing the you know whatever the, the praying the whatever it is that you need to do do, but understand that you are responsible and I just want to remind you that no one has it figured out babe you don't have to have it all figured out you, you will never have it all figured out because that's just not good it's not human but I want to remind you that you are on the right path you're exactly where you're meant to be you are where God has placed you and no one can remove you God has not forgotten you his eyes are on you it is well with you things are going to work out enjoy where you are today take it in and even if you make a left turn Understand that God has already made a way where there was no way and all things will work together for your good So here's to us. Do I have something to cheers with? I don't think. Let me get I saved my coins in here Cheers to us for us in our 20 slash post high school era Here's to figuring things out and being the best people that we can be to the innovators, the leaders, the business people, the nine to fivers, the lovers, the healers, the criers, the strong people, the not so strong people, the swimmers, the walkers, the riders, the, you know, the groovers, the dancers, the, the, what, 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 like the, the, the intellects and the creators and to whoever and whatever we are and you are, here's to chasing our dreams and being who we were called to be all the best guys that's it for today guys i hope you liked this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys